Hey guys, Carl here. Today we're gonna to be talking about white balance and how to successfully achieve it on things like the FX6, the A7S III, and other cameras out on the market right now. And what tools you can use, like this guy right here. Boom. What is white balance? White balance is the color temperature in which you are shooting to get accurate colors for your image. Plain and simple. Whole, I did a whole video about this. I'll link it down below of what of, of white balance, like what it is, Kelvin values, how to get proper white balance, things like that. But we're gonna touch on a few tools that I just got because I've had some struggles with the FX6 trying to accurately get white balance on set in the field and so on and so forth. One tool that I recently got is this guy. This guy was $14 online, super cheap, pretty cool. You put it in front of the lens like this. You hit white balance. Is it accurate? Fairly accurate. I'd say this guy hits about probably 80% of the time. You do need to make sure that you're properly exposed. It helps to have something white in the, you know, in the blur out. It helps to have something, you know, I'll put up my white card. That's a black card. Let's put up a white card. So that's white card. It helps to do that when you are, um, when you're white balancing with it. And I've found that it helps out quite a bit when I'm in the field or if I'm trying to go quick and trying to do something, it hasn't worked perfectly every single time. There's been a few times where it's come out with this like negative or green or something along those lines, especially at the A7S III. A7S III is really good at being able to pinpoint a certain location with white. So if I have something white in the scene, I can like pinpoint on it and calibrate off of that. It works really well. This doesn't allow me to do that. This just covers the whole thing and then you do the whole scene. Like I said, right now I'm shooting this at 5,500 Kelvin. It looks pretty good to me. Let's try the other utensil that I have and see how it works also. So number one, this guy, $14. I'll put the title of it right here and uh, throughout this video so you can kind of see what that is. Now the other one I got is an app. It's gonna be super red because I have a filter in there so bear with it. But you can see that it's telling me right now that I am around 4754 Kelvin. This app is called Kev White Balance, Kev WB. It's in the app store. It does cost money. Um, let's actually, let's see how much it costs real fast. $1.99, $1.99, you can get yourself a pretty good white balance tool on your phone. So it's a white balance meter AI Kev is what it's called. Um, it has, let's see here, 4.5 ratings, 152 ratings and 4.5. There it is. All right, so what you can do is this. You have here your phone giving you the proper Kelvin. Uh, we're gonna change it to this 46 here in a second. I think it's 4615 or 4661. So let's white balance this to whatever it's saying right now. So it's telling us, right now I'm shooting this at 5500 Kelvin and let's check this out and go back to 4463 is what it's telling me I should go to. Let's see if it's very accurate in this. Uh, Bear with me one second. So now we're sitting at 4460. This is the white balance it's telling me I should be at. So here's a really great example of what to watch out for when you're using any of these tools is mixed lighting. Right now I have two lights. I have an above light with a lantern on it and a side light here, 600D with a soft box on it. Both of these lights are 5600 Kelvin. I have two other lights behind me, one over here lighting up this plant and then one over here giving me a little bit of a rim light from behind that are both going to be tungsten lights. So it's picking up all the lights in this scenario and it's giving me one Kelvin value, which will be the 4460. This is what it's putting as, you know, the neutral for that scene. And that's awesome. That's great. If you're shooting in somewhere where there is a lot of mixed lighting, you want to be uh, sitting, you know, close to your key light but you also may want to have some of the Kelvin value or the, the tungsten value in there also. So if you wanna shoot a little bit cooler and you can warm up the skin tones and post or what, whatnot, that's up to you. You should always you know, go off of your key lights. So I'm gonna change this back to 5600 Kelvin because I know that 55, 5600 Kelvin is what my key lights are and what my skin tones will react the best to. So let's change that up again right now. So that is back to 5500 Kelvin right now, as you can see. So now what I'm gonna do is I'm going to take and turn off both of my background lights and just have my key lights and we're gonna see what that Kelvin value comes out as. So let's do that real fast. Okay, so we have no 
backlighting at all right now. So let's see what this guy comes out with at this point. Open up our app, put it back on me. So it's still saying, let's see what it's going up to. It's changing quite a bit. So we're gonna up into the fives, still four, 48. Let's put up this white card and then let's see what it does. All right, so what we have here is pretty close to proper white balance. See, it's uh, we're hitting this white card. We're kind of overexposed, so bear with me on that. But it's telling me you know, 55, 5600, which is where we're at right now in our Kelvin value. Um, again, the screen's gonna have this kind of weird hue to it because I have filters in. Um, but you can see here, it's giving me a pretty accurate Kelvin value. So, I mean, that's, that's tolerable when it comes to what we're gonna be doing in post. We could adjust that accordingly. So as there are many tools to get correct white balance, few are cheaper than the two I just showed you. There are auto white balance features on a lot of these cameras and they're not always accurate. So there's probably a good balance between using them internally and then outside sources as well. As these tools aren't always the most accurate, they're nice to have and they give you a little bit of a confidence inspiring feeling when you're in the field using them because they kind of give you a little bit of reassurance that you're kind of on the right path to what you're using. Check them out. I'll leave the descriptions down below for both of them and I highly recommend checking them out. They're both really inexpensive, so it doesn't hurt to just put them in your pocket and try them out when you're out in the field, see if they work for you. With that said, thank you so much for watching. Hope you guys enjoyed this, got something from it. Make sure to hit that thumbs up button if you did get something and um, maybe subscribe if you haven't already. I always produce content like this, so love to have you around and have you watching more of this content. Thank you again for watching. We'll see you guys in the next one. Cheers. Thank you.